In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can control main stage using the Nano Control 2 by Korg. If you're tired of navigating main stage to adjust levels and parameters using your computer's trackpad, then you're gonna find this little guy to be an affordable and easy to set up solution. So keep watching this video and you'll learn why the Nano Control 2 is a great addition to any worship keyboard rig. This video is brought to you by Lead Worship with Ableton, a free training to help you get started with the number one worship leading software. With Ableton Live, you can run a click, backing tracks, and automate lyrics and lighting. It's the best tool for increasing excellence and eliminating distracting mistakes in worship. Click the link in the description to enroll in the free training today. Hey, what's up? My name's Jake Goslin. If we haven't met yet, I'm the creator of churchfront.com, an online resource for innovative and creative church leaders. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to continue to receive all of our latest content to help you grow yourself and to grow your church. And be sure to also check out the links below this video for some tools and resources for your worship ministry. And in the show notes, I also linked my worship ministry toolkit where I list all the gear that I'm gonna talk about in this video as well as all the other gear that I use in my worship ministry. So after watching this video, click that link below, complete the form, I'll send you access to the toolkit. All right, so right here I have our church's worship keyboard rig. Well, this isn't the actual keyboard that we use, the MIDI keyboard. We use the M-Audio Hammer 88 uh, keyboard. It's fully weighted, it's got the full 88 keys to it, but this little key station works great as well. Both of these keyboards don't have these dedicated knobs and faders that you can map to main stage. You only have like a couple, you know, like a pitch bend and a modulation and a volume fader on the keyboards, which can come in handy. But when you're using a main stage template like Sunday Keys, rather than having to use the trackpad on your computer and use your mouse to navigate main stage, it's much easier to have hardware knobs to make adjustments to the different sounds. So that's why I have the Nano Control 2 that my friend David at Sunday Keys sent over to me. What's great about the Nano Control 2 is that it's pre-mapped to work with Sunday Keys. So look how I'm changing these different parameters here. I have my worship electric piano, I have my gentle pad, I can do volume, I can also you know, adjust the knobs on top of the template, and then also the buttons here. There's three buttons on the Nano Control that map to the buttons that we see on the templates on the different instruments. So this is really great, especially if you have a plain Jane MIDI keyboard that doesn't have a bunch of knobs and faders. You could also have just an old keyboard that has MIDI functionality and you don't want to upgrade to you know an Akai or M Audio keyboard. As long as you can get MIDI from that keyboard to your computer and then you get something like the Nano Control 2, then you have all the functionality you need controller wise to be able to take advantage of Sunday keys. Another thing my friend David sent me, and this is one reason why I love what him and his team are up to, they really go like the extra mile in, in being thoughtful about how they can create better products to, to equip uh, worship bands is they created a custom decal that's gonna go on the Nano Control 2 so that all the colors of these knobs and faders matches up with the colors that you see here in the main stage template. Because without the decal, it's almost kind of a guessing game having to make sure that you're adjusting the right faders and knobs on the Nano Control 2. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take this decal out of the packaging, I'm also going to place it on the Nano Control 2 here, and if you end up getting this and you get the Nano Control 2, make Make sure you go to sundaysounds.com forward slash decal or whatever URL they give you here when they ship it to you and follow their instructions carefully. So I removed all the knobs and faders from the Nano Control 2 because you have to in order to be able to put the decal over it and it's nice, it kind of rests on here just like that. If you wanted to, you could actually not even put the sticky side of the decal onto the Nano Control 2. You could put the knobs and faders back on just like that, maybe put a little bit of scotch tape or gaff tape on the edges to keep it on there and that could make it so you have the flexibility to remove the skin from the Nano Control 2 if you would like. I don't plan on using the Nano Control 2 for any other purposes than with the Sunday Sounds uh, main stage template. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the paper from it so it exposes the sticky side of the decal and then I can get this 
onto the Nano Control 2. This is kind of like when you have to put a screen protector on a iPhone or a smartphone. It's a little nerve wracking, but I've watched their tutorial video and it seemed pretty straightforward. The trick is to get the middle section down first. I'm not going for perfection and it's actually not that hard because all the buttons I feel like acts as a nice little uh, template for you to, to fit that sticker on there. So it's not, it's actually easier I think than sticking a decal or sticking a screen protector on a smartphone. Then I'm gonna go ahead and start pressing down lightly so it will stick. Wow, that was actually a lot easier than I thought. You just have to make sure you work from one side to the other and then from the center of the nano control out to the edges. Like I said, make sure you just go to the link they give you and follow their instructional video. Don't just put this on after watching me do it. Because if you mess up the decal, you're not gonna get a new one for free. But to be honest, like I said, it's not that hard. I think it was a lot easier doing this than trying to get a screen protector on an iPhone. Next, I'll go ahead and put back on all of the knobs and faders. All the knobs and faders are back on. Now it's time for powering it on with the USB cable. Let's go ahead and get my keyboard back in place. Put this guy up here. On our other keyboard we use at church, it's bigger, we have more space, so this will actually fit really well, like right above the actual keys on the piano. All right, so now I have the skin fully installed on the Nano Control 2, and now all these colors match up with the colors and the template so that I know, instead of having to look at the screen, I just know that, okay, this first fader here, this is the piano. Let me actually turn everything off real quick. So this is the piano sound. This is electric piano. Pads. And then the dance synth. I can adjust all the parameters on top as well, like the reverb and the filter. Let's go back to the pad, since I'm about just as competent on keys to play pad. Adjust the filter settings. Shimmer. This is so much easier than having to mess with the trackpad on the computer and trying to click around and dial these things in. And I even prefer this more than the Touch OSC app. That's not a bad solution using your iPhone or Android device to control it, but having the hardware knobs here, I feel like it's so much easier for a keyboardist to control the Sunday Keys template rather than fiddling with the mouse. So the Nano Control 2, the hardware device, without the decal, that costs $59. You can get that on Amazon. I'll link that below in the description. And then the Sunday Keys Nano Control 2 skin, you can get at sundaysounds.com. I'll put that link in the description as well. And that skin is $24. This is a great combo I don't think you can go wrong with. I'm really excited for Ashton, our keyboardist, to start using this so he doesn't have to fiddle with that trackpad during a worship service. I wanna thank my good friend David for sending this on over to me and thank his team again for just creating great resources for worship ministries so if you haven't checked out sundaysounds.com make sure you do they're going to make your whole life when it comes to keyboard patches and main stage templates and ableton templates way easier to access a complete list of all of my favorite gear in worship ministry besides just the worship keyboard rig make sure you download my worship ministry toolkit linked below thanks so much for watching if you found this video helpful hit that thumbs up button and share it with your friends in ministry you can check out some related videos about worship keyboard rigs right over here. And don't forget to subscribe to the Church Front channel so you can continue to receive all of our latest content to help you grow yourself and grow your church.